There are multiple ways to calculate and estimate Shapley values. In this video, I would like to briefly go through kernel Shap. Again, let's use the same example we used last time. We have four house features predicting housing prices, and we'd like to explain how this certain instance predicted and what are the contributions of each feature to this prediction. With kernel Shap, there are six steps. Step one is to generate a coalition Z. We randomly generate zero or one for each feature, with a zero representing the feature being absent and one representing the feature present. So in this case, only the number of bedrooms and the age features are present. Step two is to convert Z to the original feature space. What does this mean? Let's call this new instance HZ and let's copy the values from X. Whenever Z is zero, we replace the corresponding HZ values with a randomly sampled value from the data. Here, we replace one with two and replace the second one with three. Step three is to input this HZ into our machine learning model, the function F, and to get an output, which is FHZ. For example, it could be 400 100K. Following the same steps, we could sample the coalition Z many, many times, and we will get the values of FHZ many, many times. Our goal is to approximate the Shapley values from those values somehow. Since Shapley values are additive, it is natural to think that we can fit the Shapley values into a regression model. But each coalition of Z may need to be weighted differently. We'll need to compute the weight for each Z. Here's the equation for the weight where M is the number of features and one norm of Z prime is the number of present features in Z prime. Features with less present features or more present features have more weight because they might be providing more information for a specific feature. In this case, Z2 and Z3 will have more weight than Z1. Z2 and Z3 actually have the same weight in this case. Step five is to build this weighted regression model. Let's create a new function g, which is the sum of Shapley values for present features in a given coalition z. In this example of z, gz is phi 0 plus phi 2 plus phi 4. We want to approximate the sum of the Shapley values to the model output fhz. That's why the first half of the loss function is trying to minimize the difference between fhz and gz. And then additionally, there is a weight function here to provide the weight for each z. And then we can optimize this loss function and calculate phi, which are the Shapley values. To recap, here's the algorithm for kernel Shap. Hope you have a better understanding of this algorithm now. Thank you.